All right, so what's the deal? You've got files on the Sidorovich family, the Italians, biker gangs. Why do we need all these? What are you up to? You don't need to know. I'm sick of this. I'm not your errand boy. You gonna help me out or what? You're right. What? I said you're right. We haven't been making enough pr uh, progress. It's frustrating. I can see that and I'm sorry, but if it helps, I think I found something. Thomas Shepard. Sound familiar? Dock worker. Reportedly, uh, reported harassment and death threats for volunteering in local politics. Says here he feared for his life. He died under very similar circumstances to your dad. Let me see. Go right ahead. Hmm, this is promising. See, you should be more trusting. I know I messed you around, but we'll be good together. I know we will. Give the operator a call and see what we can dig up on our boy Shepard. Use a payphone so you can't be traced. We're gonna see if we can get any intel from the operator. Call for information. Information, this is Debbie. How may I help you? Hi, Debbie. I'm trying to find an address for a Thomas Shepard here in Red Rock County. One moment, please. I do have a listing for that name, but I'm afraid the address is withheld. Withheld? That's no good, Debbie. I really need to get through to Tommy because it's for work. We're brothers. I found his dog. Dogs, bro. Dogs always. There's these lost dog posters all over the neighborhood, and I think I found her. She's really beautiful. She must be the family pet, but I just want to reunite her with her owner. Problem is, every time I dial the phone number, I get disconnected. Disconnected. It's the strangest thing. I just want to reunite the children with their best friend. Can you help a guy out? My dog ran away when I was young. Broke my heart. You reunite those kids with their pet. His address is Lot 12, Cliffside Trailer Park. Thanks so much, Debbie. You're the best. So Thomas Shepard lives in a trailer park. How come that dude that just hit and ran on us doesn't get pulled over by the cops, man? This is some baloney. Okay, what? Get out of the way, bro. This, this is ridiculous. Come on now. <laughs> what, what's happening here? Oh, that's a cop. And here we are, boys. Looks like I'm gonna have to get a change of clothes. I'm gonna put a red shirt on. Ran into somebody. Typical. Hmm. So we've got people walking around outside. I'm not gonna peer in the windows. Let's just go straight in the front door. Here we go. Can I help you? What am I doing? She's clearly grieving. I shouldn't be here, but this could be the break that I need. Offer condolences. I just, I, I wanted to say I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Thanks, that, that, that's kind of you to say. I couldn't stand him sometimes. If you could, you know. We were almost on the verge of separating last year and I, it's all I could think about. My dad died recently. I know what it's like to miss someone and we, you know, we didn't always get along either. What happened? Murder, but the cops, they, they what? That, that had a nerve. Maybe there's something here after all. Um, mention the sports car. There's a tricked out car at the scene, real expensive. They didn't even bother looking into it like they were hiding something, you know? Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Wait, what you said? There was, Tommy's dead. The police didn't listen to me either. What do you mean? They said he was mugged. They said that heart failure got him, but he told me he was scared. He told me people were out for him. This car, he kept seeing it outside the house. He thought people were watching us. I thought he was just paranoid, but Thank you for your time, Miss Shepard. Wait, wait, you're going already? If you want to visit, he's buried over at the cemetery. They did a beautiful job of the headstone, a lovely cross. I'm going too soon. I just, I'm building myself up to it, you know? I understand. Hmm. So it sounds like these are related, and it sounds like the police are in on it somehow. If they're, if, if they aren't looking at all the details, and they're just kind of like, Sweeping it off to the side, you know what I mean? There's there's something going on here, and we gotta gotta get to the bottom of it. Anna says she's gonna dig into it a little bit more. Something doesn't feel right. I'm with you, Anna. We gotta we gotta figure this out. I swear, dude, if I hit another dang car, now the cops are gonna be on us. Unless we swerve off, which we were able to save. Good stuff. Could have been bad otherwise. Just gonna follow the track so the cops can't find us. I've got a suggestion. In both cases, most evidence lies in the coroner's reports. We clearly can't trust those. The cops barely bothered looking. What are we gonna do, rob the morgue? This is crazy, even for me, but I know a guy. A mob doctor, he knows how to keep quiet. If we're gonna give him access to one of the bodies, maybe we could learn more. I'm not digging up my dad. Of course not. You're gonna dig up Tommy. You're unbelievable. Hey, he'd wanna get revenge too, if you think about it. Anyway. See what the doctor says first. We are gonna meet up with the Undertaker. Bro, what? We're gonna go dig up a grave and take 
a, a deceased body to an undertaker for examination. This, this is getting crazy. Made it. That's kind of a sexy parking job, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go, boys. The Undertaker. Let's see what we got here. Can I help you? Uh, this is clearly a funeral home. If this is another one of found setups, sir. I was told you were a doctor. I think I got the wrong place. Who told you that? Um. Anna. Oh, Anna sent you. You must be William, yes? I've been expecting your arrival for some time now. Come with me. Nice. So you're a mob doctor then. Anna said you could help me solve a problem. I was a lifetime ago, but my work was not deemed to be agreeable by some. What if they strike you off for malpractice or something? Precisely. Not everyone was willing to indulge in my eccentricities. Uh, what was that? Silencio, or silence, Julio. We made a new friend. We shall resume our discussion later. As you can see, I've found a new line of business now. Well, maybe you can help. Oh, I'm certain I can. But the world doesn't work like that, William. In exchange, I shall require your services. Pri quid pro quo and all that. Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Splendid. Anna was mentioning something about a gentleman recently deceased and at rest. You require me to discern his fate, correct? I need you to tell me how he was killed, if that's what you mean. Well, I don't usually deal with bodies post-funeral, but if you bring me this shepherd, I'll be happy to take a look at him. This guy's widow said he had a cross-shaped headstone. I guess that gives me a start. You might very well think that, but it's a graveyard, William. There will be plenty of crosses, I'm sure. All right. So we've got to find Tommy Shepard's grave and dig up the body. Got Undertaker clothing here. So we can put this on. Maybe look a little bit legit. This is going to be crazy, dude. They've got the this scheming weasel music on in the background. I use this in some of our videos. That's funny. <laughs> going to be taking the hearse. Go to the graveyard. These, the hearses freak me out, dude. I don't like them. Just bad vibes all around. Guess going right and then left is gonna be our best bet. This is kinda cool, dude. I'm excited about this one. All right. The graveyard is right over here. Let's go ahead and pull in. I'm gonna try to try to back her in if we can. This thing is kind of like driving a cement truck, but we're gonna do our best. Find Tommy Shepard's grave. So she said it was gonna be immaculate. Tucker Jacobs, Sergeant Garrett Lowe. Aha! We found it. Thomas J. Shepard, 1947 to 82. That's sad. He was only 35 years old. Leaves behind a heartbroken widow, Rachel. All right. Well, I guess we just. Get to digging. Okay. Um, <laughs> wasted civilian. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the car around so we aren't seen dragging a body around by anybody else. I mean, technically, this is our job, right? So they can't be too mad. But we're we're gonna try to play it safe. All right. Gonna search them. There's nothing to take. They didn't leave him with anything. I'm gonna throw him in the hearse. We're going to take the body back to the funeral home. <laughs> Nobody will suspect the thing. Just... Oh, God. Sorry about that, whoever that was. May you forever rest in peace. I I apologize. That was not good. Um, yeah, just a, a grave that's been dug up. Body's no longer there. You know, typical day. Nothing to be worried about, people. Sorry to this person's fence that I've crushed through twice now. Oh, man. Well, we made it. I'm definitely going to hell for this. Mission's complete. I'll put Julio to sleep and get to work on Shepard right away. Don't fret. All right. Um, going to be able to talk to the Undertaker again? Why not? So he said he wanted us to do something for him. I, What kind of work would an Undertaker need? That's what I'm worried about. Ah, William. I should have some news for you soon, but first I need some help. Urgently. Last night I finished my work with Julio and sent him away with a client who brought him to me, but it turns out some police just don't know how to dispose of a body. Total amateurs. How would you dispose of a body? The river? Pig farm. Water is too unpredictable. Currents, tides, that sorts of thing. Pigs are reliable. They're always hungry. Why not just bury the bodies in the wrong basket? 
You know as well as I do that not all bodies stay buried. Better, it's, uh, there's nothing left for anybody to find if only I ran a cremation service. Why don't you go and find poor Julio for me, stash him in a, near a nearby dumpster, I'll take care of him there. Well, we're gonna hop back at our Ravel, and let's, uh, let's get out of here, boys. Here we go. See what we got going on. Okay, this is not exactly where we wanted to go, but we're gonna be fine. Where are we going? We are going towards the lake. So we gotta go find this body. Hopefully we're gonna be able to stash it in the trunk here. Oop, kinda overshot our, our turn there. Hopefully we can stash it in the trunk. And then we're gonna have to take it to a dumpster. So we are inside the search area. We've gotta find the body. I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna like wash up on shore or whatever, right? I don't really like or trust this lake, dude. This thing is sketchy. We died in it once before, so we gotta be careful. Oh, there it is right here. Okay. We found it. Good stuff. I'm gonna go back. Let's grab the whip and, uh, there's a dumpster right there we can stash it in. I wonder if that's what they're talking about. Don't mind me. Just doing a little off-roading in my Ravel. I'm gonna come pick this sketchy business up. If we don't run him over first. Okay. Drag him, put him in there. Just any dumpster, because there's one right here. Will this work? Retrieve the body, put him in the dumpster. I think somebody saw me. Thank you, William. Poor Julio deserved better than that, or better than what he got. Not much better, mind you, but a dumpster will do for now. It said suspect spotted there for a second, but I think we're I think we're in the home free now. I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna go back to the Undertaker. These missions are, are kind of exciting, kind of fun, kind of different. I'm I'm getting a little bit sick of Anna at this point, so let's let's keep working with our boy. This should be good. Not to mention, I feel like he's been the the best help that we've had so far. At least he's actually making some progress. You know what I mean? Anna just just kind of in it in it for herself. So here we go. You're saying Shepard was poisoned. Why go through the trouble of beating him if he was already dying? Perhaps to cover up the poisoning? Perhaps they don't like a challenge? Perhaps they did it for fun? I'm an expert in method, not motive, William. Of course, it's always possible it's an insurance policy so that doctors won't be able to save them. Can we trace the poison? I'll need more time to analyze it, and don't worry about payment, I have a few more favors to ask instead. For example, my forest cabin requires a spot of spring cleaning. I was entertaining a number of guests recently. I'm not gonna lie to you, William, it's an awful mess. I suggest you bring a garbage truck. What? I I've got a feeling it wasn't just like a typical, you know, party. I, I, I think this was something much, much more sinister. But we've got to find ourselves a garbage truck. I've seen these things driving around, but very infrequently. This is, um, this is not going to be easy to find. Alright, so here's who we're going for, boys. Now the problem is, I've been thinking about this. The garbage truck's gonna be like the slowest vehicle in the game. We aren't gonna be able to get away from the cops if they come after us. So basically, we're gonna have to take this thing, we're gonna have to kill the driver, we're gonna have to kill the garbage man so he can't tell anybody on us. And we've gotta do that without being seen by anyone. Which I've got a feeling is gonna be significantly harder than it sounds. So we'll we'll see what happens. We're just gonna have to we're gonna have to follow follow him for now. Hope he turns off on like a weird side street or something. Shoot. He's going up here. What if we did it on the bridge? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Run him over. Nope. We gotta run him over. Nobody saw anything. That tractor, don't say a word, bro. Oh my gosh, dude, that was insane. All right, so we're gonna do the loop here. We're gonna come back around. I was so nervous about that. I wasn't sure if we could, if we should get out and shoot him, but obviously that attracts a lot of attention. But I mean, there's no way, no chance that we're outrunning the cops in a garbage truck here. So that was honestly probably best case scenario that he stopped on that bridge or that we were able to to get him to stop on that bridge 
So we're gonna go back across the bridge, and then we're gonna hit our first left, I believe. There's the tractor. Gotta make sure we don't run into him or anything. We gotta be very, very careful here. Tractor's going to the same spot that we are. Okay. Here's old dude's cabin. Freaking made it, dude. <laughs> Must be getting sloppy my old age. Please dispose of everything, William, including the stragglers. Goodness gracious, dude. Feel like this is a very sketchy job. We de hold on a second. Wait. Oh, these things are moving? Why are they moving? Are these people, these, these people can't be alive. I don't know. We've got to move the truck around though. We're having to like keep getting out by the main road. Somebody's going to see us. We got to be careful here. I'm going to, I'm going to pull this thing around. We're going to be fine. Go ahead and pull her in right like so. That's a much better location. No big deal, just your friendly neighborhood trash man. Got them all, buddy. All right. Now we're gonna drive the truck to the landfill. No weird smells or anything questionable going on here. This is all normal, all legit. Please don't be a cop, please don't be a cop. Whew. If there's a cop there and they, they saw us run through that fence, they'd try to pull us over for damaging property. So we're we're fortunate. That was probably a risk we didn't want to take there, but we just got to do our thing. So yeah, this is a new area. We haven't really been up here. The landfill is up in the very top right. Some nice houses and churches and all kinds of stuff up here. Cops didn't smell anything yet. We're good. Just playing it cool, playing it easy, playing it safe. Here we go. Go ahead and back the goods in here. And we're good to go. That's a mission complete. Whew! The kill cabin. Excellent work, William. I'll be sure to invite you to my next gathering. Uh... To be honest, sir, I think I'll pass. 